wait a minute. Fiona, why did you take daddy's keys? What? What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys what I think it's one of the best phone mounts and wireless chargers for your BMW or any other car you might drive. A reason I'm making this video is because nine out of 10 people who sit in my car, they've always made a comment about this phone charger and they always ask me where I got it. Now you'll be surprised um, how inexpensive this uh, product is for what it offers. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. When I spec my car, I opted out of the wireless charger that BMW offers purely because it kind of like sits right here. So this area would be flat and there'll be a charger underneath. And you would have to kind of stick your phone back here and uh, it'll charge. But I kind of wanted a setup that will be more up here. Not that I need it because I have Apple CarPlay, which shows everything on my phone on the screen. But I kind of just like the look and the ease of just having my phone here. And that's when I came across this Vekasi phone charger. And now I've had it for about six months and I absolutely love it. And I'll tell you why. Well, first, it looks pretty cool. I quite like the design of it and also the way it operates. So when they designed this, they purely made it a one hand operation, which I love. Ooh, little spoiler alert. So I'll get to that next. So I'm gonna use a little dummy phone here because I'm using my iPhone to record. Yeah, the struggle is real. But um, I'm gonna use this phone and show you how this works. So there is a sensor right here in the middle of this um, charger. And when you get your phone close to it, the arms open and you just put your phone down. Once you have your phone on there, it's, it's pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. When you're driving down the road, it doesn't vibrate. There's a couple different ways you can mount this. It comes with a little ball mount that you can, um, you know, attach anywhere. You can put it here, you can put it on a dash and it just like, attaches to the back of the phone. Or you can use the vent mount that also they provide in the box, which I'm using because I didn't want to, you know, stick anything to my carbon fiber or my, you know, full leather dash. So the vent mount works perfect for me. And you can kind of angle it the exact way you want. I have mine set up like this. So when I sit here, from this point of view, um, it's it's pretty much, it's, it's facing exactly towards me and it's pretty comfortable. Now, once you're ready to take your phone off the mount, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so there's these sensors on the sides, which as soon as you take your hands and you grab it, the arms kind of open and you take your phone out. And let me show you that close up. So you see that little sensor here, you have it on both sides and you kind of just like gently touch it. You don't even really have to touch it, just kind of just hover over it. And as soon as you hover over it, these arms open back up and you take your phone out. To me, a huge bonus with this phone mount and charger is that, that the lighting they used here, you know, the orange red light, matches perfectly with the rest of my interior lighting. So at night when everything here lights up, it's that exact color, which makes this mount and charger look very OEM. So when you're driving at night and you don't have a phone on there, it just kind of, everything kind of blends in and it looks very, very cool. In a second, I'm actually gonna take the car to like a darker area where I can show you what I'm talking about with all the lights uh, lit up. On my car, there's a cigarette lighter that's, you know, down there. And at first I, I you know, ran the wires here and I connected it to that um, USB uh, cigarette lighter here. I had an um, adapter for it. But then I didn't like the way it looked cause it kind of just stuck out and you were able to see the connection and the wire. I wanted more of a cleaner look. So what I did, I ran my wire all the way across. I ran it under this plastic trimming all the way down here. And the wire goes into my um, little uh, armrest here and there's a USB connection. So to me, this is just much of a cleaner look. You can't really see anything. You can see a tiny, tiny uh, little wire there, but you don't see anything else here. You don't see anything. And it just comes down here, you see the wire. So to me, this was a much cleaner um, way of installing it. Now, again, depending on your car, um, you kind of have to see, you know, what you're working with. If you have, you know, this type of car, then you can, you know, obviously use the method that I use, or you can just, you know, um, attach it there. I noticed on some of the M3s, there is actually a USB port that's actually in there. So that could be um, useful too, because you just get a little short cable and attach it right there. But for my car, you know, this is what I decided to do. Now, as I promised to show you, this is how everything looks at night or if you're uh, in a darker um, area. Um, everything kind of just flows in anywhere from your iDrive controls to your shifter to your controls here. Everything has that, you know, same color, you know, orange, amber uh, tone to it. And this is, it's not a perfect match, but it's close enough where when you're driving at night, it doesn't just, you know, stick out. It looks very BMW-like, 
which to me, um, it's a huge plus because I wanted everything to kind of just match and flow. So again, if you guys want to check it out, there's a link that I put down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time.